there! Today I'm going to show you how to make the perfect omelette. Actually, not me, actually my husband who's my special guest. Take it away! Okay, to make the perfect omelette, as you can see, I've got my ingredients here laid out. I've got myself a nice, big, juicy, free-range tomato. A big mushroom, however we won't need all that mushroom, I'm just going to cut a, a quarter of it. A green pepper, and again, obviously, I won't need all the green pepper, I'm just going to take one slice of it. Three free-range eggs, and it's really important that you use free-range because you can definitely taste the quality, the difference in quality between free range and normal barn eggs. I've got some Bavarian ham, smoked Bavarian ham. Just my choice. It's thin, it's tasty, it's full of flavour. And as you can see on the health guide, it's really good for you as ham goes. Some grated cheese, uh, a frying pan and a tray. I'm going to wash my tomato. Yeah, make sure you wash all the bacteria. And chemicals. And the chemicals. They like to spray chemicals on everything nowadays. So what should I do with the other half of the tomato? Okay, Let's... so just so you can see, I'm just going to finely cut the tomato. Nice and small juicy little bits. So as you're doing side. this, the other half of the tomato, just my preference, I like to put a lot of pepper over it. Is that alright chef? A bit more. That'll do. And then put it under the grill. Yes chef! Pepper. I'm just going to cut a slice of pepper. You put that back in the fridge babe. Give it a wash. And again, just finely chop. Oh, that's so juicy pepper, isn't it? Can I have a piece? No. Oh. Nice little cubes. So why are you using green pepper? Why are you using red pepper? Just because I find the perfect ingredients for a really nice omelette is green pepper. Juicy tomato and mushroom. Now at the moment I've got a big mushroom. You can just get yourself a small mushroom if you've got one. These are the only mushrooms. Oh, I've got so you're just using just a quarter of so, it. So obviously I'm just using a quarter. Take that, babe. Put that in the fridge. Yes, chef. <laughs> you enjoying that? Being my guest on my show. <laughs> All right, wifey, calm down. So, my husband is fantastic making them omelettes. He always makes me an omelette when we're off together. So usually we can't, we always have a nice omelette. Especially before we go to the gym for a training session. Yep. Okay, so chop your mushroom nice and finely. Apologies, I'm not the very quick chopper. So you're probably getting fed up with me. Um, and then we just want three eggs in a bowl. And you're using the free range egg, of free course. Free range, of course. Cracking the eggs. Oh, I can see the shell here. I'm going to this is out for you. Yeah, get the shell out for me. Done. Second egg going in. And the third, trying to find the biggest one. There we go. And the third egg is going in. Done. And what are we doing now? Now I'm going to just whisk the eggs. You don't need to go too mad, just whisk it until you can get it nice and bubbly. You've got some air in there. Should I put some pepper in there? Yeah, get some pepper in. Any more? A bit more. Obviously put as much pepper in as, as your preference. I quite like Make a lot of pepper. Make it spicy. So go on wifey, put some more in. There you go. Done. You can use your muscles here. Yeah. Whiskey, whiskey, whiskey. That's a great job. <laughs> I 
Okay, I'll just show you quickly. So we've got the egg mix with pepper in it, and then we've got just chopped tomatoes, small, small chopped um, green pepper and chopped tomato uh, mushrooms. Just going to put all those in. Give it another go. I think wifey's not put quite enough pepper in for me. You need to put another bit of pepper in there. Ooh, I've been told. There you go, a bit more pepper. Lovely, okay. And now we're gonna go over to the pan. So the pan is on with a little bit of butter. We always use the butter because the omelette tastes much better with the butter rather than the oil. Thanks for that, Okay, so just let your pan get really nice and hot. As you can hear, we're sizzling away now. I'm using a small teckle pan just because I find them the best. Get your mix in. So you want it on a nice high heat and I'm just going to move it around. Move it or keep it moving until you can feel it starting to stiffen. So about there. So we're at about that kind of um, thickness. I'm just going to level it out. Oh, it looks yummy. Try and make sure your mixture's fairly equal and even. Give it a bit of a shake, level it out, and then on a low, turn your heat right on low, and then just leave it a minute. So now at this point, obviously we've got our tomato in our grill, so our grill's already hot. If you're not grilling yourself a tomato, then just make sure you do, at this point you turn your grill on, and get your grill hot. We've got our grill at about 180. So when do you have an omelette? Just for breakfast? Me personally, it's a breakfast thing for me. Um, I like to have an omelette before I train um, down the gym. So I'll have a big omelette, I'll have whole grain toast, grilled tomatoes and baked beans. And that's my normal thing um, if I've got time to start my day with. But an omelette's really flexible. You can have an omelette for breakfast, lunch or dinner. It doesn't really matter. Anything really goes with an omelette. A nice salad or some pasta. Um, anything you really want. Obviously, I'm going to toast tomatoes and beans today. Oh, sounds really nice. Very so you don't, tasty. You don't want to cook it too much, just until it starts to come loose in your pan. That's about ready. And then what I'm going to do is, if I can find the oven glove, I'm just going to, because I've got my tomato in there, the wife put it up quite high. I'm going to have the shelf, if you just want to show them the shelf, not too high to the grill because otherwise it just burns. So I've got it roughly just above in the middle and I'm just going to put it under. How long for? Um, I normally check it after about 30 seconds. Okay, just 30 seconds then. Um, and why is it under the grill? Well, it's just my way of doing it really. I just find it easier than, than flipping it over. Um, so Sometimes when you flip it over, it ends up breaking up and all the rest of it. Um, and I find this way just, just a better, easier, efficient way of cooking an omelette and it, it tastes great. So under the grill, a few seconds, and all you're doing is you're just waiting for the liquid on top to disappear. You don't want to... Thank you, Chef! I was waiting for that comment! <laughs> you don't want to um, burn it. You don't want it to go golden. You just want it to... Just want the liquid to be. So shall we try to check it out now? Is that about ready? That's about ready. Okay, so what I'm going to do now is get a slice of my smoked Bavarian ham, which I got from Audi. Ooh! It's really good quality, and it's about ninety p a, pe uh, a pack. Oh, you can't go wrong, so then, you can you? Cannot go wrong for that. I got my grated cheese, just nice and light grated cheese. I'm just going to scatter that around. 
Okay, so it's very little cheese, very not cheese too much, very especially very when you're trying to watch your weight. More pepper. Um, for my preference, just a little bit of pepper, that's, that's your personal preference. And then back under. So it's going to go under, literally just for the cheese to melt. Um, and again, you don't want your cheese to go brown or anything like that. Um, we don't want to overcook an omelette because it starts to go rubbery. All we want to do is just melt that cheese. Oh, it smells already, delicious! We've already cooked it. Still a little while to go. So just waiting game now. Just a waiting game. So shall we put the toast on? Yeah. Might as well, isn't it? Get the toast on. Toaster works. There we go. I won't put the beans on, babe, because uh, it will make too much noise and people won't hear us on the video. Oh, of course not. I'll make a cup of tea in a minute after when we finish this yeah, video. Yeah, please make me uh, your perfect cup of tea. Of course I will. A tawny will grow for me. Anytime. So we've got melted cheese, and then all I'm going to do is turn it once, like so. If you are going to touch it, just mind your hands because it is hot, especially with the melted cheese. And then I'm just going to roll it again. There we go, the perfect omelette. And that, I promise you, will not disappoint. That will be full of flavour, full of goodness, full of protein. Um, a really good way to start the day. And instead of a, a fried breakfast full of meat and fried stuff, that's nicely healthy. All right, we fried it at the start with part fried, part grilled omelette. Thank you very much for watching. Make sure you like our video, make sure you subscribe, and also comment on our video too. And enjoy the breakfast.